That rock. A letter from the dead, perhaps. What the? Oh, oh there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up? Sir? Oh! Uh. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? And put us out of work? I'd almost welcome the change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Ready and waiting. I'm right here, you know. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. They pay me good money. Is it just me or...? I felt it too.
Watch out. Spectre possession. Piss off. Here you know. Letters for Fort Jericho. That is your new job. Now you're a postman. Nah, not for me. Too dangerous. Help if you need it. What is this? Uh, an echo. We, we may have found our victim. A very broken strong box. Empty of its train band payroll. Our messenger was also carrying money, and it's gone. Boy, help me up. 
Help me up there! C come, boy! There's blood, but I'm not so badly hurt. I what are you doing? Put that bike away, boy! No! 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 The rock didn't kill him, nor the water. The scudder boy finished the job. And robbed him blind. A dead messenger. A missing payroll. And a single name. We know two scudders, don't we? We do. And one of them isn't the sharpest knife in the bag. No pun intended. This would be a better book if it had pictures in. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Good day to you, Mr. McRaith, your lordship, sir. Oh, there once more, Pins. The boy is shrouded in spectral stains. There's a ghost at work here. Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What does he do in the woods? Checking his traps, I suppose. Not that there's much game. I wish he wouldn't leave me. A messenger went missing, and the trail leads here. The trail? What kind of trail? Oh, that kind of trail. Was he killed? Who killed them? Who could have? No. He couldn't have. He wouldn't. He couldn't. Would he? Did he? By he, do you mean your cousin? Beloved, I. But he couldn't. He's nothing like that. He's a good un. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes. Yes. Of course, if you think it important. I'll go take a look at your house now. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. By not pointing the finger, he pointed the finger. What does he know?
Beloved's father was a killer on the run, on his way to New Eden. A bad man, but a good father? Seems unlikely. Beloved fears himself doomed to repeat his father's mistakes. It doesn't have to be that way. He has free will. There's nothing more to find here. Huh? You, Brian Scott's busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says, and thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting. You're haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. There's no beast here. Get out of my house. You're haunted, doesn't that worry you? You know I'll do you fair. I... N no, you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. A man is dead, Scudder. His life ended, his body pillaged and buried in a shallow grave. That's not... That's nothing to do with... No, leave me be, you can't do this to us. From your demeanour, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not, I can't! I... No! Please... Go! Enough! What foul retribution is this? Son... Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look to Credence. In your letter, you said you were coming to New Eden. You made it, sort of. What happened? <sighs> I had passage booked to Boston. A captain who asked no questions. And a ship's cook who needed the reward money. The catch poles took me at the dock. Ten days later, they took me up to Gallows Acre, and there I was hanged. For murder? For murder, yeah. And all the rest. Why? Why'd you do it? You ever been to London, Scotsman? Aye, I have. Then you've seen how the people live. The toffs of me. Them as has money. How do you think they come by? With their wars, and their taxes, and their sheriffs, and their bailiffs, that's how. They kill for gain. Why should I be different? What of Credence? Why should we look to him? He was a hellion as a baby, and no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. Why send him to New Eden then? 
Mary thought to take the boys as far from Bristol as she could go. In the colonies, so went her thinking. She could raise two good and honest men. But without her guiding hand, tis clear that credence bent, beloved. Crooked. Can you be sure Beloved is innocent? He doesn't seem to believe it himself. He has my blood. But he has his mother's too. And she were good. He has her heart. I know my son. He's no killer. What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers. All were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin, to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. What happened to his mother? Mary were with child when she set sail for New Eden. She refused to raise another baby in bloody Bristol. Neither of them survived that first winter. Beloved and Credence were left alone. I sent my family away. To give them better lives. I failed. But not all is lost. I can yet save my son from the corruption of his wily cousin Credence. It takes a bad and to catch a bad, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There you'll find the proof. Where exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid, west of here, on the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole, west, got it. We'll investigate Credence's hideout then. Make our own minds up. I speak the truth. You'll see it. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. So, we'll find out who. He went that way. He's dead. He's really dead. They hanged him, didn't they? Aye, they did. Condolences. Keep him. Jed was a bad father and a bad man. The world's a better place without him. Am I haunted by his ghost? Will you tell me? Why would the ghost of your criminal father appear now? Why would he blame Credence? You're the banisher. You ask him. Better yet, you send him away. How do you feel? Your father's death and all. I'm feeling good. No thanks for asking. He's dead, and soon, if you do your job, you'll be gone. Tell me about him. Tell me about your father. What's to tell? Jed was a scoundrel his whole live-long life. He was a scoundrel, and he sent us away. Me, my pregnant mum, and Credence too. Jed was meant to follow. But he never did. To hell with him. 
How did you and Credence end up together? He's lived with us since his mother died. Came over on the boat. A new start for everyone. You know? Then my own mum died. And it was just us. It's been just us for years now. Credence had it rough as a kid. But he's no trouble. Credence is better than you think. Better than anyone thinks. Jed suggested we have a word with Credence. Any idea where he might be? You shouldn't listen to my old man. He was not with us, never was. Leave Credence be. My cousin didn't. He's not... Look, if there's bad blood, tis mine. I'm evil to the marrow. A man who stands up for his kin can't be all bad. What does it matter if badness is in his blood? Do what you must. I'll not run. I'll face my fate, whatever it may be. Did you kill the messenger? I... we... It, in my dreams I see him drowning. His death weighs heavy upon me. I wish to think of him no more. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. I will, if I can. Strange that Beloved talked of the drowning, but not the stabbing. Either way, he fears he is a killer like his father. Perhaps it's not too late. He may yet avoid his father's fate. Well then, we'll find Credence's forest hiding hole and learn what's what. not miss the woods, but this is quite nice. Good day to you, your lordship. What brings you to the woods, Credence? A walk, sir, in the peace and quiet. You seem uneasy. Something on your mind? Tell the truth. I've not felt too well of late. Aye, being haunted can do that to you. Tell me this, Credence. Of all people, why would Uncle Jed haunt you? Jed Scudder? Uncle Jed haunts me? What? How? Why? Wait. Uncle Jed? He accuses you of corrupting his son. Jed Scudder? Uncle Jed haunts me? for being a bad influence. Uncle Jed calls me a bad influence. Should I worry? What can I do? Help me. Let me do my job. I'll help. Gracious me, please do your worship. Save me like you saved us all from the terrible beast. I'll try, Mr. Scudder. I'll try. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. There's a cabin up on that bluff there. Credence's hide, perhaps.
Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. He was surprised by Jed's accusation, but not that Jed was dead. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. for a man who can't read. A plantation in the West Indies. Planned down to the purchase price. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? We've learned enough. Huh? Jed was right. Credence is cleverer than he pretends. He reads and writes and plans ambitious plans. A plantation needs a lot of coin. The silver connects him to the payroll robbery. And to the murder. The manipulative little shite. We need to talk to the Scudder boys. They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. We must confess! Beg for mercy! I will not. I can't carry the burden! You can. And you will. Soon we'll put it behind us. 
New Eden. Everything. I cannot put it behind me. I bashed a man's brains in. I must fess it. No. I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No! What the? Jed, no one move, including you, Jed. Thank God you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either, until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence, the Scudder Boy. The Scudder Boy plays the fool. Plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies. When the postman passed with a payroll, you took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty, but the plan was yours from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But I never... Well, wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you gonna do about it? Credence. How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Anything to say in your defense, beloved? I didn't know. I, I, I swear I didn't know. My arse. He hit the messenger with a rock. He did it. You knew what you were doing. You wanted a way. You wanted the payroll. Right in hell. You, you used me. I shall rise above them, a great and wealthy man. My cousin by my side. Please, we used each other. Jedediah, you wish to prevent your son from meeting his father's fate. But by haunting him, in time, your love will kill him. I am here for credence. My boy is good. He's no killer, I grant you, but he is a liar and a thief. He's rude too. His father clearly loves him for whatever that's worth. Spare my boy. Punish his cousin. Dead men give no orders. Take me instead. We might well do just that. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. Jedediah Scudder, though you may worry for your son, it's time to let him go. Beloved's mistakes are his own. With luck, he'll make fewer. My son, you'll always be that brown-eyed boy looking up at me. That boy is dead and done and gone. I did my best. I have loved you. I know this now. Goodbye, Jed. Farewell.
Now, if you don't mind, I need a private word with my cousin. <laughs> this should be good. I've no wish to be around for that. Let's go. Good day to you, Scudder. It's been a while. A while. Aye. It has been a while. And much has changed. Credence is gone. I turfed him out. Haven't seen him since you sent old Jed away. How are things going? Doesn't look like much, I grant you. But there's good, hard-working people here. The Keyneses. Who were one or two? Digging that garden, so one day we all may eat. Does you proud it does. Though, it's been a while since I've seen Daniel. Now that I think of it. What can you tell me of thick skin? You'll have heard what she did. I fess it, I was surprised. Though, I of all men am not well placed to judge. How fares Kate? Seems better. I was surprised to see her back, but I guess some bonds just don't break. How fares the camp? It could be better. There's bad blood between the sisters. Kate's walked off into the woods. Only thick skin remains. Speaking of bad blood, how's Credence? I don't know. I swear it, I. I stayed clear of him, and he'd do well to stay clear of me. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, sir. Well, if it isn't the great hero, saviour of New Eden. Not dead yet, I take it? If I am, you've gained an unexpected talent. I was life in the woods. Sadly, I'm in exile, and it's your fault. After you spoke to my cousin, he kicked me out. I'm sure it's for the best. Gives me a chance to think, you know? To sit with the ancestors and... Reflect on how to live a better life. Your ancestors? 
you sit and reflect on your life with your ancestors. If you say so. I do say so, I do. Thing is, the best place to commune with the forefathers is at the cemetery. But the forest there is awash with spectres. Oh, all right, I'll stop you there. I think you buried the stolen payroll in the cemetery, and you want me to clear the path to it. Close? <laughs> Close indeed. It's at the base of a tree, near an old landslide. There are spectres everywhere. Tell you what, Mr. McRaith, your lordship, sir. Be a hero, and go get it for me. I'll give you a cut. You'll be a slightly richer hero. Maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I'll keep it all and be a much richer villain, eh, hey, Credence? Guess you'll have to wait to find out. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. You're in its sights, Red. Can I join in too? I'm right here, you know.
The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Stolen payroll. Credence may have it back. Or not. We'll see. Standing by. Fucking all the fun. I'm right here. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wasn't for its own. The lantern, shoot it! Ready and waiting. So, do you have my money?
I do have it, aye. And I'm keeping it. Any objections? You. Yes, I have objections. Although I see you're in no mood to hear them. Very well. You win this one. Well done, you old bastard. Well done. Sod off, thief. Good day to you, Mr. McRaith. Your lordship, sir. Oh, there once more, Pins. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir.